children outside, it means he's sleeping one off. Always drinks a flood after a massacre. Sick bastard. Go on, then. Place the frame outside his house where he can't miss it. You heard the legend of the meat man? Well, it starts with a company researcher named Rami. Time comes, his buddies figure to play a prank on him. Stole his ID card and left him out in the vast to fend for himself overnight. But what they found the next morning shook him to the core. See, we're gonna make Jones think the meat man's come for him. Just need to put a few things together to make it happen. But first, you gotta find us some clothes for our meat man. Everyone heard tell of the meat man on Gehenna. Was a time I so scared of meat I ate nothing but quinoa for a year. Fear will drive you to the brink. <sighs> you even left that lad! <laughs> Bad choices! Just a sec! After the dark deed, Rami's buddies, well, they're spooked. Few of them clean up and disappear. And yeah, you guessed it. Each one of them bastards was found hat and head in the vast. Nothing beneath them but dirt. And so, <clears throat> legend of the meat man was born. A restless spirit out for vengeance on wicked folk walking alone in the vast. That'll do nicely. And those will do just fine. Well now, that should just about do the trick. Next, we're gonna need the head of a bellic. But not just any Belek, mind you. It's gotta be the biggest, meanest son of a bitch in these parts. See if you can find one like that. <clears throat> seen old Rami's severed body wandering the vast. But here's a kicker. Where his noggin used to be, there's the head of a beastly bellic instead. An abomination walks among us. Sure as ruin is coming for each of us in time. That monster's dome should do it. 
time to build the meat man and scare thy Reaper Jones silly for his crimes. And if by now y'all thinking no one deserves such punishment, mark my words. Reaper Jones has cut down countless good-hearted folk in his time. <clears throat> you reap what you sow, and that Reaper bastard's in for it now. Go on, then. Slap all them parts on the frame, and we're gonna have us a good old time. Morning after Rami's friends left him out on his lonesome, they go to have a laugh at his expense. But all they find was his head. Trademark black hat set square top. In a panic, they bury Rami's head in an unmarked grave and make him act right then and there to never say nothing to nobody about what transpired. Rami's buddies were done for. Meat Man got them all in time and his way. But the Meat Man don't stop his killing after Joe Sankara. No, sir. They say he rides every night, hunting down murderers and other unspeakable sinners of all stripes. Then, after he wreaks his righteous punishment, the Meat Man rides off into nothingness at first light, wearing the hat of his latest victim. need some fuel so we can give it the proper presentation. were cut down to night but hat and head. 
One by one, till only fairly left was Joe Sankara. There he is, coming down the road one evening, but he sees a meat man in all its horrible glory. Joe Sankara's throat goes goose dry, can't croak a word. Then the meat man bursts into flames. Well, Joe Sankara starts running for his life. Bull runs straight off a cliff and breaks his damn neck. The greater the sin, the hotter the fire. Damn it all. There's a thing I almost forgot. Without it, it just ain't the meat man proper. The only way this works right is if we can find Reaper Jones's own damn hat. Maybe the drunk let it slip off somewhere in a stupor. Take a look around. Reaper Jones sees his own damn hat atop the meat man, he's gonna die of fright. It's time to summon a ghastly abomination by lighting it on fire, naturally. I thought you'd never ask. Get to it then. That should wake the hungover bastard. What in ruin is going on out there? Reaper Jones! You have been judged! Also, you're a dick, and I'm gonna devour your soul or whatever! What? No, this can't be right! Someone's trying to play tricks on me! Hey! Get out there and kill that bastard, you layabouts! Looks like the meat man's about to claim a few more victims, huh? Dead. It's real! And it's wearing my hat! It's finally come for me! I ain't ready to die. This can't be happening. I'm sorry, Meat Man. I've seen the error of my ways. I'm gonna be good now, I swear. Just please don't kill me! Well, that seems like genuine fear. But, but I'm not so sure the bastard suffered his share. If you think he ain't out of his mind enough, turn up the gas on that meat man. Really drive the point home. But then again, if you're thinking he really has seen the error of his ways, maybe give his sins a listen. <laughs> oh, sweet ruin! Please, Meat Man! Please! I can change! You have been judged! No, stop! I swear I learned my lesson! I ain't gonna kill no more! Please don't take my body! I don't want to be just a... <laughs> it's working! Do it again! Oh, Meat Man, don't take me! Prepare for do! I can't take it! I can't take it! <laughs> 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 
Hee-hee! <laughs> reckon that coward lost his mind before he passed out. I wonder what he'll be like when he wakes. In the meantime, come find me. I got something for your trouble. Well, well. Looks like there's still some steam in that old legend of the Meat Man after all. Hope those Devil Riders hear about this, because the Meat Man's coming for them too. Oh yeah, soon enough, soon enough. At any rate, that was a good old time. Hope you enjoyed it your own self. Reaper Jones ain't gonna forget what happened today anytime soon. <laughs> now I just gotta thank you for all you done. Devils, the beasts, it all came from here. And the hubris. The company had a name, but you won't hear anyone around here offer it freely. Same reason you hold your breath while you pass a graveyard. Time to get inside. <sighs> Fancy looking tech right there. Didn't seem like the Vault Hunter could use it yet, though. You know by now that there's always another way in. <laughs> Hell is that, but that was a ticket. To a lot of folk, the company facility was a tomb. Not for dead men, but for a Gehenna the company buried when they left. Not many of the grit to set foot on the company's grave. You know, my grandmother worked here. Right in this building, in fact. Recruited for Project Endless Horizons. Brilliant woman, so I've been told. And hey, I'm just trying to honor the family legacy here. You understand? Don't you, Gunslinger? Oh! I'm...
task of whoop ass. up near you. He's got some newfangled tech that makes him hard to pin down. So do me a favor and nail his ass to the wall. I spotted him first! I want my cut! Project Endless Horizons. All of our exciting progress is thanks to Malleus Mutatio, or Core. None of our projects would be possible without it. Core, the element that sparks new life into our bio-enhanced flora and fauna. Core, which fuels our experimental weaponry and tech programs. From our groundbreaking Telezephyr network to innovation and long-range ballistics, this is Project Endless Horizons. It's almost funny, you know. The company claimed the ruiner could be tamed. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. My grandmother was smarter than any of those empty stars. She knew exactly how to control it. And so do 
lie. When the company shut down the facility and abandoned Gehenna, they bombed what they could and left. But my grandmother couldn't leave her work behind. When the last shuttle hit orbit, she was right there flipping at the bird and shouting, COWARDS! Thank you.